Hello, my friends. Fred and I are back with another book. You go tell them, hey? Hey, you go tell them, hey? No, you pouting again. That's a very moody dog. <laughs> All right, so I hope you had a good Sunday, a good weekend. I have another pigeon book for you. You know, I love my Mo Williams, Willems, my uh, pigeon and my elephant and piggy books. I love them. So I have another pigeon book for you. It is The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. Okay. Looks like he's begging. Please. All right. So The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. All right, let's sing our song. Front cover back cover front cover back cover front cover back cover title page the author writes the words the illustrator draws the pictures front cover back cover front cover back cover front cover back cover title page the pigeon wants a puppy by Mo Willems. And the pigeons he's saying, I really do. He really does want a puppy. And on the title page, he has a list. So instead of like a Christmas list, wish list, he has things I want. And let me read you a few things off this list. To drive a bus. We know he wants to drive a bus. To eat a hot dog all by himself. Stay up late. We read about that the other day. Um, a big red truck, turtleneck sweaters, a driver's license. He does not need a driver's license. Um, anything suede. Suede is a type of material. Roller skates, french fries on demand, candy, more candy, various cheeses, striped socks, paper clips, and the last thing it says, a puppy. So let's find out if he gets a puppy or not. Oh, hello. How are you? Something's up. He's being too polite. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. By the way, do you know what I want? See, we knew it. He was being too polite. He wanted something. What I've wanted forever. At least since last Tuesday. A puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Look, he's bouncing. Puppy. Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Do you really think he's going to take care of a puppy? Puppy's a lot of work. You got to feed it, take it outside, walk it, give it toys, play with it, give it water. It's a lot of work. Wash it. Give it a dog's. A bath's a lot of work, trust me. He doesn't like baths. I promise I'll water it. I promise I'll water it once a month. Once a month? Let me tell you, Fred has to have water just about every other day. He drinks everything in his bowl, don't you? You and the cat. Once a month? Crazy. What? Everybody knows that puppies need plenty of sunshine and water. They need a whole lot more than sunshine and water. Sounds like he's talking about a plant. Sounds like he need a plant. Not a puppy. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to be happy, do you? And then he's squinting his eyes. He wanted to be happy, but we don't think he's responsible enough to take care of a puppy, right? You don't want me to take a piggyback ride on my puppy. Can't do that. You hurt the dog. Or play tennis with it. You can't play tennis. Just throw the ball and bring it back. You just don't understand. I bet some of y'all have made this face before when you want something and your mom or dad says no. Sit still. I'm a puppy loving pigeon. Oh. A puppy. 
Ooh, he's thick. He got hearts. He's thick. Oh, they're so cute. They are cute. I want a puppy right here, right now. He's throwing a tantrum again. He's he's good at throwing tantrums. Woof. <gasps> What's that? Woof woof. Is it possible? Have my dreams come true? Woof. Ah! That puppy's bigger than him. It's huge. The teeth, the hair, the wet nose, the slobber, the claws. I feel him with the slobber. I don't do slobber. I mentioned the teeth, right? Really? I had no idea. My puppy gone. He won't look out the door. I changed my mind. Look, look how big that dog is compared to him. He's walking away. I want a walrus. Gosh. Crazy pigeon. He does not need a walrus either. He is so silly. Mm. So, he wanted... And Puffy, he had a fit, didn't he? Had a fit, told us why he wanted it. Talked about he'd water it once a month. Craziness. And that they need water and sunshine. Want to pout and talk about we don't want him to be happy. Wanting to yell and talk about what he'd do with it. Look at him. I bet you, I tell you, I bet your mama and daddy would agree with me that you have looked like this before. That face. I bet you. And he had a fit. Yelled at us. Look. And then when he got what he wanted, did he want it? He didn't. He realized he didn't really want that puppy. He just liked the idea of having a puppy. Sometimes we get like that. Sometimes we want a certain toy and we pitch a fit for it. I've seen some of y'all. Or we want that certain lesson that somebody else has out and we will pitch a fit. Some of y'all have done that. And instead of saying, hey, can I play with you? You pitch a fit and tell my nope, I don't want to work with them. I want to buy myself. Or I bet when you're at home and you want a certain and you want your mom and dad to buy you a toy and you pitch a fit, do you get it? Do you get that toy when you pitch a fit? I bet not. I hope not. Because if you pitch a fit, in my opinion, you don't deserve it. You gotta ask politely and be patient and you might get it. And then sometimes when we get it, like the pigeon wanted a puppy, he finally got that puppy, but did he really want it? Nah, he didn't. He didn't realize what all it took to take care of a puppy, right? Or what all a puppy was about. So, like, take care of a dog, take care of a puppy. It's a lot of work. Like I said, you have to take it outside. You have to give it food, water, take give it a bath, cut its toenails, y'all. Trying to cut Fred's toenails. It is awful. He fights me about it. He fights with me about it. Um, you have to take them to the vet. Vets cost a lot of money. So, take care of a dog or a cat is a lot of work. It really is. Um, so, before you go pitching a fit, saying that you want this or you want that, like the pigeon, think about it. Think about it hard. See if you really want that, okay? Um, parents, I've tried to call some of y'all and didn't get an answer. Um, I'm going to keep trying, um, today and tomorrow and Wednesday and see if I can get y'all just check in, maybe talk to your little rug rat and see how they're doing. Um, so look for my phone call. It'll be, um, it won't be from the school cause I'm not there, but, um, 
if I don't get you, I'm gonna leave a voicemail. If you have a voicemail set up, and then uh, just call me back whenever you can, okay? Don't call me back late at night. <laughs> Please, or early in the morning. <laughs> Because I don't know about you, but I do enjoy sleeping in. I do wish I could go back to work, but I do enjoy sleeping in a little bit. <laughs> um, so, I love you guys. See you tomorrow with another book. Um, I'm going to read you a few more Mo Willems books because I just love them so much. And then we're going to go to some pig books. Some, uh, like, Three Little Pigs, stuff like that that I have, okay? Alright, I love you guys. See you tomorrow.